What's up, YouTube? I'll be doing some powder coating today. Figured uh, show you how I do it, what I use to do it, and how it turns out. So first thing first, get your powder coating powder. Uh, I buy mine from a powder uh, coat store out of Texas. This one, this particular one that I did calipers with last week, show you how that turned out. Uh, this one is cured at 10 minutes, 400 degrees, nothing to it. Uh, put your powder in the bottle, screw it on, get your air compressor air, uh, hook up that. I like to run about between 5 and 10 psi, that's what's recommended. Got your little pressure regulator, uh, plug in, get your ground, and you just uh, start spraying. Make sure you do preheat your parts. I'll show you my oven in a little bit, my fancy oven that I got. And, um, I've powder coated a lot of parts over the years. I'm not a professional, neither is my uh, parts that I do are uh, professional grade, I should say. But I do it for myself. I did uh, a few parts for my friends. I do a lot of small stuff. Um, the biggest I did was a uh, small Fiat engine blocks. I did uh, oil pans, 13 inch wheels, valve covers, you name it, brake calipers. I do a lot of brake calipers. Um, a lot of people are gonna say it's not gonna, doesn't stand well to heat. I did um, oil pans, valve covers, or engine blocks, and it's still standing, believe it or not. You just gotta prepare it good, use a good uh, powder. The gun that I use is made by Redline, E250. I love this gun, I love how it weighs down. Um, I think I paid three to 350 bucks. It's been a long time. I've used the Hubbard Freight gun before. That was my first gun. Um, that worked out okay. It's not the best gun. It's super cheap for beginners. I would recommend it just because you can get the feeling of it. And then later on you can step up. I don't do this professionally. This is a hobby that I do. The cars and powder coat and whatnot. I'm sure a lot of professional guys are gonna be shaking their hands saying, that's not how you do it, that's not stuff to use, but I've been happy with it. I'm not professional again. I do not drive my cars in winter time. All my toys and the cars I've done, brake calipers, are for summer only. So I can't tell you how durable it is in winter. I live in Midwest Iowa, we use a lot of salt in winter. And like I said, I only drive my cars in summer. So I'm sure my brake calipers um, are not as durable as when professionals do them. They, I'm sure they have some kind of primer and clear coat they do it over, I don't. I just use a plain uh, powder coat, glossy, is what I like to use. I, to clean them out, to clean uh, my wheels, I even did a wheel. Uh, so I, done this wheel, this is for my Yugo, uh, five, six years ago. I just got new tires put on yesterday. Thanks for uh, putting them on, my buddy at Upcountry Fab. Uh, so I did the center and inside gold. Uh, all this that you see, it's a brake dust and I didn't use a ceramic brake pad. So, and I polished the lip and outside, so they're still standing, they look good, they're just a little bit dirty. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll post a lot of pictures in the video, uh, all the parts I've done. Uh, this is an intake pipe I've done in uh, wrinkle black. And wrinkle actually is my favorite color, uh, my favorite, uh, favorite texture but it is harder to clean and keep them clean just because there's no shine to it. And uh, I did a lot of, I did a few intake manifolds, uh, valve covers, turbo, front covers, um, compressor side, I mean, I did them in wrinkle red and black. They turned out pretty good. So now to a powder coating, uh, since it's freezing outside today, um, it's 24 degrees, the wind is blowing like crazy. It's, it looks like it's sunny outside, but it's so cold. I have a little deal behind my garage that I do my powder coating. 
but today I went to Menards, grabbed the three furnace filters and I built a little square in my parts room. So that's where I'm gonna be doing my powder coating. I wanna show you how it's done. I'll show you my uh, fancy uh, uh, oven that I use. And uh, those filters just keep that powder from going all over the place and I have a fan above it that sucks it all out uh, because it is a messy job, but I don't mind it. So I'll show you, now I'm gonna go show you my fancy oven and show you the calipers that I've done last week. They're already on the car, they look amazing. And uh, that's that, figured I'd show you how I do it. It's uh, the most expensive part you need is this gun. But like I said, my first gun ever was a Harbor Freight gun. I sold that on Marketplace a few months ago. A kid was just starting it as a hobby as well. I sold it to him for cheap. They're not that expensive at all. But I like this gun. Uh, I'm not promoting it, I wish I was. Uh, it's made by Redline E250. And it's just the way that this gun lays it and uh, never have any problems. You do need to make sure that your air is dry. When I say dry, there can't be any moisture in the air. Uh, if you're using a compressor that you add oil to it, uh, make sure it's not greasy. Uh, run filters, run uh, water drops, whatever you got. And uh, get yourself some of these silicone plugs. Uh, they're specifically made for powder coating and a tape. It's a high temperature tape. So if you have to mask something up, this can go in the oven. Same with these little plugs. I got a bunch of them. Uh, I got a whole box of them. So when you do brake calipers, um, make sure you plug up, plug up those uh, uh, holes. Uh, otherwise you'll have to run a um, tap through it because uh, once this is powder coated you have a hard time putting a bolt through it. I'll show you how I do it in a little bit. Now let's uh, go change up and get the camera ready. But first thing first, I'm gonna go show you my oven that I use. This is uh oven that I got for free. It's just your kitchen, regular oven that people use to bake food in. Um, I can fit my little 13 inch wheels a bunch of little parts, and that's that. I got this thing for free, and uh, been using it for years now. Do need a 220 outlet in your garage, of course. And uh, I got a little fan that uh, pulls all these fumes out. This stuff stinks. You don't want to be around it when it's baking, even though it's only baking for 10 minutes, but uh, you do not want to be around. Please do not use your kitchen oven to bake parts. The oven that you're gonna be baking food. I know it sounds stupid, but I've seen some uh, guys do crazy stuff, uh, washing their parts in dishwashers and whatnot. I guess that's okay at some point. Just after you wash out the parts, you can run a, another cycle just to clean it up. But do not try to bake this in your kitchen oven, in your kitchen. I'm telling you, it's not pretty and it stinks and that oven will be ruined. So here are the calipers that I did um, last week. They're already on the car. Uh, they turn out pretty good as always. The little holes that you see, those are just imperfections in a caliper. They were never made to be smooth. But uh, I did a lot of brake calipers, usually I even did some new, brand new ones, like this one has been rebuilt before I did it. But I do a lot of old calipers that uh, need to be rebuilt. New seals, new pistons. If you can find pistons, some of them you just can't. Um, and uh, that's kind of, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. It's just uh, now I'm gonna go change and uh, put my. Uh, Cover all, I'll be talking through my mask while I powder coat. So hopefully you guys uh, like this video. If you do, please like it, subscribe it. Have any questions, send me a message. I'll be happy to answer it. And I wanna thank to my uh, first 300 subscribers. Thank you guys for support. 
I'll be making a lot of videos. This is my hobby. I have a full-time job. Um, husband, dad of two, so it's a busy, but I'll do my best. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in a bit. piece of a powder coating today you can see these uh, little two plugs these are high temperature uh, silicone made they're specifically for powder coating so that way I don't get the powder inside where those two bolts bushings is that's where the caliper slides side to side and uh, the threads I can retread those but that's not a problem I do them all the time so here we go that's first it's free preheated uh, I warmed it up in my little oven so here we go this is way easier in my uh, little setup I got outside but like I said it is so cold outside and uh, the wind is blowing over 20 miles per hour today's and yesterday's one of the coldest uh, days a week of a month again I live in Iowa Midwest and uh, actually we had a few flurries this morning the snow is coming it that laid up pretty nice nice and even what you want now we just got to go put in the oven for 10 minutes that should look out pretty nice all right so my caliper is pre uh, preheated warmed it up in the oven a little bit uh, they suck because you have this huge piston that you're uh, trying to keep in so that um, powder doesn't get inside you don't want that powder inside to cure it then you have a hard time putting the piston in the seal so I got the old piston from my other caliper and I use some of that tape high temperature tape specifically made for powder coating um, and uh, so here we go Everything ready Yeah, this, I love this gun, it just lays so nice. Now make sure you have, um, you have that powder that goes, oh, there's something. There you go. Yeah, a lot of this powder goes to waste, really. Uh, but 
but it's pretty cheap. I think I have a whole, I got the whole pound for 20 bucks. So, can't complain. I'm gonna keep that piston inside and cure it that way. Once that's cured, then I'll pull it out. Yeah, you want to make sure that you have that powder all over the place. Cure it for 10 minutes. That should look amazing. And that's good. And now we go. Nice and even. That's what you want. 